My name is Andrew Grow, and today we have Kristen Kukuru, Senior Account Manager with Becker Professional Education. Kristen, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Absolutely. So we're going back to those technologies again, and specifically for the CPA exam. Um, you guys are really dialed in with the uh, what is known now as the CPA blueprint. Can you yes. talk a little bit about what is the CPA blueprint and how does this conversation kind of really impact the changes to the CPA uh, exam blueprint in, in the future? Yeah. So the blueprint is basically the AICPA's kind of outline of what they're going to be testing um, on for the CPA exam. So I always refer students to this, you know, so those that are getting to that point of, hey, I'm, I'm getting close to sitting for the exam and have that anxiety of, you know, what am I even going to be tested on, right? right? Um, and some are, some are like that, some are, are not as much, you know, I've got this, I can, you know, I can handle it. But I think that the blueprints are great for those that, you know, I think they're great for anybody, but really identifying what are the concepts, what are the key areas that I need to really spend my time on to prepare for the CPA exam. But not only the CPA exam, their career in right. accounting, you know, and that's, that's with the CPA exam and that's why they're making these changes and that's why they continue to make changes on the CPA exam. It, they want it to line up to what professionals are going to be doing day to day as an, as an accountant. Right, so. and, and for a little bit of light reading, take a look at the blueprints, right? I mean, it's a right. it's, it's, it's not for the faint of heart. So. No, it, there's a lot of information <laughs> in there. You're absolutely right. So as I mentioned, you know, for those that, that need to, to look through that, you know, I think that's it's an absolutely great um, resource. But, you know, this the blueprints are what, you know, Becker is using to, about, to yeah. um, you know, prepare our materials and, and identify key areas that the students need to focus on. Um, it's what a lot of universities utilize to prepare their curriculum um, on an annual basis. So, you know, it's, it's really kind of our tool, our resource in order to, you know, um, prepare students the best that you can. To make sure that they're going to have fantastic success on the exam. And, and I know we all appreciate that from uh, an advocacy perspective. Um, super important, uh, you know, if you're getting after the CPA exam to, to you know, get your hands on an exam review course. Uh, Becker's a great, great uh, resource there. Kristen, you are also here, I know, in, in the St. Louis metro area in your region. Um, we did talk earlier a little bit about um, kind of the four technologies that society um, identified for now and the future. Um, data analytics, blockchain, RPA, and AI. Are any of those showing up on the exam right now? And if so, which ones? So data analytics has already taken place in the exam. And so that started, I believe it was uh, July. Um, so this summer, they already started to incorporate that into um, the questions on the exam. So not necessarily a content change, but they've already started to um, you know, present that to candidates um, taking the exam. So that's already um, absolutely. And are you seeing are, are you are you seeing any metrics coming out of um, kind of um, uh, candidates taking uh, different sections of the exam and maybe are they prepared for these types of questions? I know uh, Becker does a great job of, of uh, cutting and looking at different data, you know, from your uh, your clients. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing on are students prepared for this type of stuff, or do we need some more work? I think there's a lot of work. I think there's okay. a lot of work to, that um, you know we need to make happen. And so, um, while yes, we can, you know, Becker does a great job of, of providing the, the tools that they need. Um, it needs to start earlier, you know. So several of these students, you know, they just were exposed to it right before. Right. So it's not enough time. So they need more time. It needs to be presented earlier on in their programs. So they are ready for it when it comes to the CPA exam. Right, and at least like you shared um, earlier, the awareness piece of it is super critical so that students and professors and, and, and you all and others can, can't get ready for what's gonna be tested for on the exam. Are you hearing anything about these other technologies? Um, it, I know it's not now, but, mm -hmm. but maybe in the next year or two, beginning to be integrated on the exam, and if so, which one? Yeah, so there's been discussion, especially with data analytics, since that's already taking place. So that's that's really probably going to be one of the earlier ones to, to roll out. 
um, there's discussion about all of them actually being incorporated into the exam by 2022. That's four year two. Um, so yeah. So so really, it's now's the time to to start, you know, exposing students to, to these technologies and, and getting them prepared. So are these the same uh, types of conversations that uh, you and Beck are having with university programs, accounting school programs? Uh, as we know, kind of. Um, it can be challenging to change curricula, sure. um, and the speed of change here um, is, is pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And, and um, yeah. what can we do as kind of a, an accounting ecosystem to help um, not just share these upcoming um, technology trends and, and needs, but help university professors and programs prepare for students to get them to get them knocked out? Yeah. So there's already some initiatives in place for that. Um, that uh, you know, the AICPA has kind of implemented, and that is basically to where um, active CPAs are serving on boards um, of the universities to really provide them upcoming or, you know, up to date information um, on what's coming into the profession. And so that's, that's really going to help. Um, but I think the more that, you know, we are, you know, discussing this during our, our meetings and our any interaction we have with, with faculty and, and students. Um, you know, it's positive. Yeah. And those accounting school advisory boards are very powerful. Um, if if you're talking with uh, a accounting department is, at a school university that does not leverage their alumni like that, what would you what would you uh, say to the to the staff there? Yeah, I mean it's it's needed. It, 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 you're doing it your students a disservice to by not, you know, um, exposing them to and, and preparing them uh, you know you want their, most of the universities their goal is to to help you know, their students be successful right and that's our goal that's your goal you know we have an equal goal in that and, and just making sure that um, we increase the number of um, CPA exam testers and they pass Thank you for joining us for this edition of Mo CPA Bar Talk. If you have any questions or would like to chat a little bit more about the issues that we discussed, just let me know. My contact information is below.